everyone, the best drone of 2025, 2026 is here. Why do I say 2026? Well, after December 23rd, unless the president pulls a bunny out of his hat, we're not gonna have any more DJI drones. Now, luckily your old drones will be grandfathered in, but I recommend that you pick up this new drone before the ban is in place. The Mini 5 Pro is absolutely the world's best drone for the money. Literally, for a thousand bucks, that's what I paid for mine. I got the Fly More combo. I know there's gonna be a little bit of a delta between currencies or where you buy it, but honestly, the trend is already here. I have friends who are saying, hey, I'm, I'm doing an international trip. Should I go pick up a Mini 5 Pro? The answer is yes. This is probably the most valuable drone for the money and here's why. Yes, it's very portable, just like the Mini 4 Pro or the Mini 3 Pro. But it's, I would argue, two times more agile. If you actually look at the side profile of the drone, you're gonna see that the rear motors are cantered even more to have a much more aggressive stance in flight. This means that the drone is way more agile. I've been finding that it can handle up to 30 mile an hour gusts. One of my biggest complaints of the Mini 4 Pro and Mini 3 Pro was that if you had a sustained wind over even 18 miles an hour, it was almost impossible to get the drone back home to you. Not only that, but the image quality for me just wasn't worth it. With this higher capacity to fly more days out of the year, and with the ability to have a one inch sensor and 4K 60 footage paired with an ND filter, now I can slow my footage down and I can actually capture studio grade footage. I mean, think about this. Studios were using the Phantom 4 Pro for a very long time for studio grade aerials. Well, those days are out and so is the drone. It's out with the old and it's in with the new because the one inch sensor is now on the Mini 5 Pro meaning that you're gonna have incredible clarity in your foreground, but also detail in the background. This is a monumental step forward in image quality from the Mini 4 Pro to the Mini 5 Pro, almost four times the image sensor size. This means that you're gonna have amazingly detailed hyperlapses. You're gonna have great ability to shoot AEB photos, meaning auto exposure bracketed. Shoot those five photos here, 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 and make incredible panos. For me, those are the images that last for life. But not only that, I was actually able to map with this drone too. This is seriously the world's most valuable drone. It's the Phantom 4 Pro in a almost large phone size and it's portable, meaning the ultimate creator's kit is now an Osmo Pocket 3 and a Mini 5 Pro and DJI mics. That's literally all that you need to cover the ground interviews, the air, your B-roll, the whole nine. It's crazy how good the image quality is on this. And last but not least, when you think about how much this drone costs versus the value, you can add prop guards onto this drone and it will actually be able to fly over people legally. Now, I know that there's some people out there on the internet saying their drone's 253 grams. Some other people are saying their drones are 249 grams. Well, there are two different size batteries available with the Mini 5 Pro. The extended life battery does put the weight over the threshold to fly over people. Now, don't forget, <laughs> it's so funny, on these new drones, anytime that you open up the arm or plug the battery in, it automatically turns the drone on. I am just not used to that. I gotta change my old geriatric veteran drone OG ways, okay? But long story short is when it comes to the Mini 5 Pro, the value is off the charts. Fly it over people, not with the extended battery. Yes, you will need prop guards to be category one compliant. And if you measure your drone or you weigh your drone and you see, oh, it's 251, well, grab some scratch paper or sandpaper and take some of the plastic off the bottom of the drone. I mean, honestly, it is compliant under 250 grams, which makes it the world's most valuable drone. Why the world, not just the US? Well, think about countries like Canada with their micro drone rule. You don't even need a license to fly this thing. Think about Europe. It's a sub 250 gram micro drone. You can do even more with it. Now I know, I believe the UK just had a new rule change where if the drone weighs more than 100 grams, you have to register it. That's fine. Here in the United States, if you use the drone for commercial purposes, they have to register it anyway. So what's the big deal? Look, when if you're comparing whether or not you should get a Mini 5 Pro against something like an Air 3 or Air 3S, I would not replace your Air 3 or Air 3S with the Mini 5 Pro. This is gonna be able to handle much more intense winds and the dual camera with the zoom functionality makes this drone worth its weight in gold. 
I've shot ranches with this. I've shot homes with this. I absolutely love having that secondary camera with the amazing amount of zoom. You do get a two time zoom out of this, but think about it. It's really just a digital zoom, not an optical zoom. When you compare, should I buy this drone if I already have a Mini 4 Pro? Absolutely. Why? The image quality is off the charts better, way better. The ability to shoot higher frame rates, completely worth it. So you have more flexibility in your footage. And if you had too much caffeine, like I clearly did today, and you move the stick a little bit too much, guess what? Well, now you can slow it down because you're shooting at higher frame rates. So you have more flexibility in editing that footage as a whole. So if you're sitting on a Mini 3 Pro or a Mini 4 Pro and you're considering the Mini 5 Pro, you need to get your hands on the best drone of the year before it's too late. Remember also that these new Mini 5 Pro has LiDAR as obstacle avoidance. I'll be honest with you, I'm really not that impressed with it. Is it really cool if you're flying out of a parking garage and you need to be clandestine? Yes, it's very cool. But the reality is, is if you're flying over water, we notice our Mini 5 Pro bouncing a lot off of the reflectivity from the water. Now, it was a very still, low wind. If you take in our subject tracking course, especially for flying over water, you know that VPS should be turned off. We wanted to leave VPS off and on. Well, LiDAR doesn't turn off when VPS is off. So we are still having those bouncing issues, which is something weird and something I haven't quite seen before. But if you're thinking about buying a drone to have that therapeutic release, and if you just wanna leave the world behind you, leave your problems at the ground, the Mini 5 Pro is amazing for those young kids that wanna learn how to fly. It's amazing for those veterans who just need a release and need to be able to explore more and have more fun and feel more purpose in life. It's also great for anyone who's ever imagined of taking flight. They have a love of aviation and they wanna break into drones. This is the best drone for that, hands down, no questions asked. You're not buying them a toy, you're buying them a tool. And the Mini 5 Pro, when you think about having prop guards for this drone, being able to fly it over people legally, even if you add the extended life battery and you get a waiver to fly drones over 300 grams or up to 300 grams over people, you're gonna be able to do so much more with this drone. The business case for this drone is actually quite stellar because if you think about it, you can't really fly this drone over people legally unless you, you know, apply for a lot of waivers. Here with this drone, you can get it below 250 grams with the prop guards on it. I'm serious, you can do it. I've already weighed mine. I know, again, some people have had issues 249, 253. Remember, there are two different batteries available with this drone. So I do recommend too, since the ban is occurring December 23rd of 2025, that you buy extra batteries, make sure you cycle through them and store them below 60% power. That's gonna be crucial and important. That way you can get the most out of this drone. Now, if you really wanna learn how to get the most out of this drone, we've got a brand new Don't Crash course on the Mini 5 Pro to show you how to shoot panos with it, like what I talked about, getting the most out of hyperlapses, understanding the simple formulaic methodology of shooting video so that way it always looks good and you don't look like a noob. Your footage isn't clipping, it's not aliasing, it's not done wrong, okay? There are a couple of accessories that you will need to get the most out of this drone, the prop guards, the ND filters, etc. But for me, this is by far the best drone and it's gotten me the most excited in a while. This particular drone I think showcases why we might need to reconsider a quote unquote DJI ban. I'm not a fan of an outright ban. I think that we need to have American supply chains. I think it's critical for us to have American drones. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not sure that in the next five years, we're gonna have someone that's gonna be able to make something like this. Now, in some um, stock trading this morning, I saw a new company has actually opened up uh, manufacturing for motors and ESCs in Taiwan. So the industry is rapidly changing. If someone wants to come into this industry and slay DJI, all you have to do is reverse engineer this thing and we'll be off to the races. That's gonna do it for me today. Honestly, the Mini 5 Pro is by far the most valuable drone for the money, hands down, no questions asked. No one even comes close to competing. So that said, if you love to fly and you're like me, you're probably gonna wanna pick one of these up. So make sure you go ahead over to eBay and grab one. But that's gonna do it for me and here at DroneU HQ. Thanks again for joining me.